Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have a fresh, delicious, healthy meal prep for you and spoiler alert, everything is incredible. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. This is actually where you'll find all three of today's recipes as well as all of the other recipes I've created here on my channel. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I highly recommend macros and calories. This is what I've been following and how I've lost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this healthy, delicious meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making berry oatmeal. I was originally going to do cherry oatmeal, but the frozen cherries were on recall at Walmart, so I, they wouldn't let me purchase them. So I'm just going to use some blackberries and raspberries and just go with more of a berry oatmeal. But let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. You're going to need some light butter, rolled oats, again, berries of your choice. Here's some blackberries and some raspberries. That's going to be so good. You'll also need some sliced almonds, honey, lemon juice, a vanilla yogurt, almond extract, and cinnamon. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and cook your oatmeal per package instruction. So I'm going to just go ahead and cook mine on the stovetop. So my oatmeal is completely cooked. I did four cups of oatmeal and eight cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the heat. Now to a saucepan, I've added one tablespoon of light butter. I'm going to let that melt down. Then I'm going to add in my berries. We want about four cups of berries, two tablespoons of honey, some cinnamon and lemon juice. We're going to put this over medium heat and we're going to allow it to cook down. We want to basically create a compote, allow the berries to cook down and the mixture to thicken. So our compote is cooked. By the way, this smells incredible. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat and we're going to add a little bit of almond extract. Stir that in and let's assemble our oatmeal. So I went ahead and packaged up everything for my oatmeal throughout the week. So I have my oatmeal in a storage bowl. I have my compote, vanilla yogurt, and sliced almonds. So what I did is put a serving of the cooked oatmeal in a bowl. That way I can have this for breakfast this morning. And then I have my compote here. I'm going to add that right on top of the oatmeal. Now what's great about this recipe is you can eat this oatmeal either cold or hot, whatever your preference is. And then I'm going to add about half of the yogurt container right on top. So you'll need a couple of small yogurt containers or if you use a big one, you're going to wanna to put about three ounces of yogurt on your bowl. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sliced almonds. You could also top this with some chia seeds. That would be a nice addition or maybe some flax seeds, a little bit of extra cinnamon. This looks absolutely delicious. And like I said, you can eat this either warm or cold. You can make them up ahead of time similar to this, throw them in your fridge, and by the next morning, you'll basically have overnight oats or you can eat it hot right from cooking. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making a strawberry mango salad. We are all about salad. We are all about summer vibes. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some chicken. You can always cook up your own chicken breast, shred it up. I just like to buy mine pre-cooked, pre-shredded, ready to go. You're also going to need avocado, a fresh mango, red onion, goat cheese or feta cheese. I'm not a big goat cheese fan, so I went with feta. 
fresh strawberries, salad greens of your choice, and then I'm going to use the G. Hughes sugar-free poppy seed dressing. You could also use the Skinny Girl, and the original recipe has a lemon poppy seed dressing you can make from scratch. I made my life easy, and we're gonna go with the G. Hughes, but you have lots of options for your dressing. So the first thing you're going to do is dice up your red onion. I actually had this diced up red onion in my fridge. Troy and I have been eating lots of salad, so I've been keeping that on hand. I'm going to wash and slice my strawberries and slice my mango. So I'm actually going to put together a salad because this is going to be my lunch today, and then I can kind of show you what the completed salad looks like. So I grabbed out my favorite salad bowl. You're going to go ahead and add whatever greens you're using. I picked these Arizona local organic salad mix up at Sprouts. It's really, really good. I know it's local to Arizona, but Check your Sprouts or your health food store in your area and see if they have something that's locally grown. It's a great way to support local and get a nice organic salad mix. I weighed out four ounces of chicken. I like to up my protein on salad especially, and by just adding an extra ounce going from three to four, I can get a lot more protein. So I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. I have some mango here, and I went ahead and cut up my strawberries. Let me show you how I store them. I like to keep all of my fruit in mason jars. It just helps keep them fresher for longer. I mean, they will literally last week, two weeks in the refrigerator this way. Just toss a paper towel in the bottom to soak up any moisture. So those strawberries will be ready to go for my salads this week. Let me go ahead and add on the strawberries that I kind of set aside. I am going to add about a tablespoon of feta cheese, my red onion, I have a, about a medium sized avocado here. I'm going to add half of the avocado. I'll weigh it out. It ends up being usually about 30 to 40 grams. Always put the side of your avocado that has the pit in it for storage. It'll last a lot longer that way. I store my avocados in this little avocado keeper. I just bought this off of Amazon. It will definitely keep your avocado for a couple of days a lot fresher. That way that I'll be able to use the other half along with these cut up strawberries in tomorrow's salad. And then last but not least before dressing, I'm going to add a tablespoon of sliced almonds which I realize now I didn't show you in the beginning. I think I'll probably top my salad with a little bit of ground pepper as well. And then as a reminder, I'm gonna use the G. Hue sugar-free poppy seed dressing. So here's the completed strawberry mango salad. Like I said, I'm using this dressing. I'm just not going to add it until right before I eat it. Don't forget you have lots of poppy seed dressing options. I think if you use the Skinny Girl, which I've heard is really good, it's less points. I think it might even be zero points where this one does have some points. And and again, I will link the original recipe with the homemade that you can make at home lime poppy seed dressing. But this is going to be a healthy protein packed lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making healthy banana walnut protein cake. I am super excited for this. I love banana walnut anything. I love cake, as you know. So let me show you what you'll need. So I'm going to use the Kodiak protein flour. I've mentioned this in my last couple of meal preps that Kodiak actually discontinued this protein flour. Nobody knows why, maybe just not a good seller for them, but I have quite a few bags that one of you, one of my lovely subscribers sent me in my freezer. So I'm using those up. Down in the description box, I will list out how you can make your own protein flour. It's very, very simple. You just need unflavored protein powder. So I'll put my favorite one down below for you, but since I have the Kodiak protein flour, I'm going to use that. Always adds in just that little bit of extra protein, and you can't tell the difference between this and regular flour. And then you're going to need some walnuts, unsweetened applesauce, sugar-free syrup of your choice. I'm using Lakanto. I have the cinnamon maple right now, which is going to pair perfectly in this banana bread. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off site-wide. Their syrup is delicious. Vanilla extract, non-fat Greek yogurt, salt, a couple of eggs, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and then three small to medium super ripe bananas. So to put together our bread, we're going to add one and a half cups of flour, a pinch of salt. I will link my little salt and pepper holder down below. I actually just got this off of Amazon. It's like $8 and it's acacia wood. It's really, really nice quality. I'm going to add cinnamon. I don't measure. I'm going to put quite a bit. I want that cinnamon flavor to really pull through. One teaspoon of baking powder and then half of a teaspoon of of baking soda. 
And then stir your dry ingredients together until fully mixed and then we'll go ahead and add in the wet ingredients. Now we're going to add in our bananas. So you can pre-mash these in a bowl if you want. It doesn't matter if you have chunks in the recipe. I like to kind of pre-mash mine up in the banana peel and then just add them to the bowl. As I mix all of the ingredients together, these will get mixed up and mashed even more. Then we're adding half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, which is exactly what is left in this container. Two eggs. Quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then three tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. Mix that together really well. You want your mix to be fully combined. Just make sure that you're not over mixing. Boy, this smells super good. I have three quarters of a cup of chopped up walnuts. I'm going to add about three quarters of those. I'm going to reserve a few. I want to top the bread with those. So go ahead and just fold those in nice and gently. I went ahead and lined an eight by eight baking dish with some parchment. We're going to add our cake mix. Go ahead and spread that out even in the bottom. And then I'm going to just add those last few walnuts right on top. We're going to put our cake in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes just until it is cooked through. You can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. The banana walnut cake is out of the oven, you guys. This smells so incredibly delicious. I can't wait to have this all week. You could even add frosting to this. In fact, the original recipe has a cream cheese frosting recipe as part of it. You would obviously need to modify it down for lower point in calorie, but frosting would be amazing on this. I think for me, I may just add a little bit of Kerrygold butter to a slice, but there's so many things that you could do with this. And like I said, it smells incredible and we've got a good amount of protein between the protein flour and the Greek yogurt. So I'll go ahead and put points calories macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Everything is so good. I've tried everything. 10 out of 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Don't forget to check out the description box where you'll find my recipe website. That is again where you can find all of my recipes, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.